Hello guys and welcome. This is Zibi from Dealmax Motors. Today we're working on a 2001 Mercedes-Benz C230. I bought this car with some electrical gremlins. So the first thing I noticed when I purchased the car, even before I purchased it, is that the uh, air filter here was missing. And when the car came in, it's got a brand new battery. The first thing I did was to check for a power drain so here we're using a clamp on meter uh, that we have set to amperage make sure when you do buy one of these that it does dc voltage because i did buy one by mistake without dc it was only alter alternating current it has to be dc you clamp it on zero it out and at this point we are having a point 0.1 so the battery will be good on this for you know months before it dies at this point when the car came in we had a one and a half amp drain right and it wasn't caused by just one issue there was multiple problems so let me walk you through what has been done here uh, one of these green fuses is for the seat this one here here we have our uh, ride out for the fuses I'll tell you exactly the number of the fuse this was fuse 38 this powers the computer for the passenger seat. So it's got electric memory seats, this car. And um, it was not going to sleep. That module has a fault. It's very common on W203s for the seat computers not to want to go to sleep. So that drain was about, I think, point seven of an amp it was a, quite a large drain uh, it would kill the battery within uh, let's say a week just with that drain uh, I did not replace the module I'll show you what we did to fix it so as you see the green wire was the plus that uh, goes into the module and it basically um, gives the module power uh, when the car is sleeping so that you're not losing your memory um, but it's supposed to sleep that module it's supposed to only be using a tiny amount of electricity and keep your memory setting so instead of giving it a plus that has is always on when the car is sleeping we gave it a plus only when the ignition is on so the memory will not function the car will forget your setting but also it does not drain the power um, it's the module can be replaced and uh, it would cure the problem also but I mean on an O1 Mercedes-Benz I don't think any passengers use the memory setting <laughs> this is very rare so quick fix we just uh, gave it the power from the neighboring wire that's ignition on with one of these clamps boom bada bang that's that's a fix for you now the other problem was the bigger issue the cell phone the tele aid had a drain also so upon removing one of these fuses I can see my meter and I'm just pulling fuses here. Upon removing the bottom fuse here, 
I believe it's uh, 40. No, 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 42. I, the voltage, the amperage would drop. I would get a message here stating that the telephone, the SOS uh, warning that, that something is malfunctioning. But I did not have a drain, so I was like, okay, great. The battery will not die. But well, then when you would turn the car on and try to drive it, the message kept popping up. So the remedy for this was I had to plug in the fuse, make sure that the module is turned on. And once it was on, I was able to decode it from the car. So as you see, the fuse is still in there, but we decoded the module from the car using some uh, menu options and start diagnostics. And then we were able to unplug the module because you can't use those anymore. They are not supported by anybody. Uh, so it's just there for no reason. It's been unplugged and the, the module has been decoded from the car. So we're not getting a message. Um, now with these cars, you can have many, many different issues. Usually the way I go about them is I just come in here and uh, start pulling fuses, looking at my amp meter while the car is sleeping. So you have to make sure that your door is locked. So I just lock it, click my key, uh, make sure that the car is sleeping. I'm looking at my amp meter. I'm pulling fuses one by one, making sure that uh, one of them will uh, drop the amperage. Um, sometimes you have to pull a few of them. Sometimes if the computer goes to sleep at a wrong time, you will actually have to put a fuse in for it to go to sleep. It's kind of tricky, you'll get a hang of it. If you don't find anything here, you move on to another fuse box. And then you move on to another fuse box. For me, it was pretty simple. First fuse box I checked, I found two issues and they were remedied within uh, I think an hour. The coding was the toughest part. All right guys, well I know you guys enjoy my repair videos. I, I'm doing this to help. So if you guys can give me a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos of repairs. Um, if you own a Classic Benz, I do a lot of videos on repairs and just general tips on maintenance and whatnot. Thanks for stopping in and as always, uh, like and subscribe.